Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I go about deep frying a whole Thanksgiving turkey. Here's our finished cooked turkey there all plated up. All right, so what I got here is I got about a 13 pound uh, turkey that has been completely thawed out and free of any ice. I've also removed the giblets and I've uh, cut a little larger of a hole uh, at the neck area uh, just to make it easier to insert my turkey frying rack later on. I'm going to be using a store-bought seasoning uh, found out here on the west coast. Uh, it's called Pappy's. And I'm going to be applying this uh, seasoning uh, to the entire surface uh, of my turkey. And as you notice, I'm not rubbing this in. Uh, I'm kind of just patting it down. Because uh, if I were to rub this in, uh, a lot of it's just going to rub off onto my hands. So I'm just uh, doing a generous amount of the seasoning uh, all through these little cracks and crevices. I'm going to be frying this up with my um, Bass Pro Shops uh, turkey frying rig uh, seen here. Prior to frying this, uh, you're going to need to establish uh, how much oil you're going to actually need to fry this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your, your turkey uh, prior to seasoning it. You want to put it into your frying kettle and you're going to want to just uh, fill that kettle up with water just so it covers the top of the turkey. After you've done that, uh, you're going to want to take the turkey uh, out of the water, and then you're going to see that water level is going to drop. Uh, that second lower water level is going to be the amount of oil that you're going to use. All right, so I've measured up my oil, and I'm going to need about three gallons of oil. So I've actually put my oil uh, into my kettle, and I'm going to be lighting this and inserting my thermometer and I'm going to wait until I achieve a 350 degree temperature. Right, once I've hit my 350 degree uh, desired cooking temperature, uh, I'm going to turn off my fire and then I'm going to remove my uh, temperature thermometer. Uh, I'm going to place my uh, turkey uh, onto the turkey frying rack. I'm going to orient the turkey with the legs facing upward and then I'm going to slowly lower uh, that turkey uh, into this hot oil uh, and as you lower this turkey into the hot oil you're going to see the oil level is going to start to rise and what you want to do is you want to make sure that that oil uh, does not overflow uh, that kettle it's one of the reasons why we turn the fire off uh, because we don't want that hot oil coming into contact with those open flames uh, I even keep a fire extinguisher on hand just in case I need to um, put out a fire in my backyard when I'm doing this so just I can't emphasize how important this is uh, just make sure that if you start to run into trouble and that oil level starts to get uh, too high or approaches uh, the brim of that kettle uh, you can easily take it out all right so my turkey's been cooking at uh, 350 degrees or for 40 minutes uh, I've been watching my temperature gauge uh, to make sure that it does not uh, go above or below that 350 uh, and if it does I adjust my uh, my flame accordingly so we're actually removing this now and prior to removing this uh, I've actually turned off my my flame already uh, just so I don't uh, inadvertently dump this over uh, and any of that hot oil comes into contact with that flame uh, but when I take this out uh, I'm gonna set it off to the side on my platter and let that oil drain uh, for about 10 or 15 minutes All right, so there you have it. I've um, let this turkey drain for about 10 or 15 minutes. I've go ahead and removed the rack. And uh, we're about to take this into the house and eat it. So there you got it. You got a 13 pound turkey fried in about 40 minutes, made in the comfort of your own backyard. I appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you guys later.